Imagine what concrete as a building material has done for us as a society. It keeps our feet dry and gives millions of people a roof above their heads. However, the concrete industry is the second largest producer of CO2 and is responsible for emitting up to 5% of global CO2 emissions. At the same time, there's a fast increase of waste production in many other industries. At the Faculty of Civil Engineering and Geosciences, the GeoCon team is working on a new type of concrete that uses waste and byproducts instead of cement. This is an example of the geopolymer concrete. Uh, it is made by mixing different industrial byproducts, then activating the products by alkaline solution, we get a binder that bind aggregate, and finally we get such a hardened material uh, that has uh, comparable or even better properties than the traditional concrete. The GeoCon group is doing fundamental research on the geopolymer material. First, the waste products are characterized. Then, through microstructure development, properties and performances of the material can be predicted. The research outcomes enable the team to set up design possibilities and put these into practice. We are also trying to demonstrate how this material works in practice. So we started with uh, non-structure applications such as casting the uh, pavement tiles, uh, 3D printing complicated shapes towards the structure applications. The first one was the geopolymer canoe last year. This year, reinforced cantilever bench. And in the near future, we will cast the geopolymer bridge. If we can put geopolymers into practice in the Netherlands, the complete production of concrete can be done without importing resources. In addition to this, we would need less landfill space in the Netherlands because we can make use of waste and industrial byproducts. By using geopolymer concrete, we are not only reducing global CO2 emissions, it also makes us rethink the role of waste. Geopolymer concrete might just be the building material of the future.